Hi, I'm Hollif. And I'm Michael. And this is our girl, Kana. Yeah? If you're new around here, we've been traveling around North America for the past couple of years in our camper van. Today, our journey takes us across the mighty Mississippi River into the city of Memphis, Tennessee. Didn't say anything. Tennessee's not very welcoming anyway. I guess so. In a quarter mile, take exit one main in US 51. In 600 feet, turn right onto North Front Street. We are in Memphis, Tennessee. And if you can't tell, we are at the second largest pyramid in the United States, now home of Bass Pro Shops. That is the absolute landmark of the city. Everywhere you go in the city, you can actually see the pyramid and everybody knows where the pyramid is. We drove by here once on the way home from wherever we were, and we saw this pyramid as we were crossing the bridge, and we decided this would probably be a pretty good place to stay some night and check it out for about 24 hours. So that's our next project. In this video, we're gonna spend the full 24 hours within this pyramid premises. We're gonna sleep here, we're gonna eat here, we're gonna play games here, we're gonna leave here eventually. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> shop and everything else. And just in case you wonder, Memphis is actually named after an ancient Egyptian city. Thus explains this landmark behind us. But we're gonna stay here for 24 hours and see what this place has in store for us. Sounds like fun. What do you say we go inside and get this 24 hours started? Let's do it. Welcome to paradise. Good morning. Good, good. Right now we're in the lobby of the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid and what I can say right now, it is huge and ornate. You've got trophies everywhere. On my left here you have the entrance to the big Cypress Lodge. Over here you've got some chairs that you can curl up in and sit next to a cozy fire if you want, or if you're waiting for somebody. And then there's this guy here on my right, Bill Dance, who apparently is a famous fisherman that of course everybody knows, right? Right? <laughs> The pyramid outside, of course, is made of glass, but when you come inside, the whole inside is kind of dark and has to be artificially lit. The first thing you notice when you come in here, right behind me, is this elevator, brightly lit. It is the tallest freestanding elevator in the United States. Now, I had to think about that because I'm thinking to myself, the Empire State Building and the Sears Towers, but those are sort of encased in the building. This one is actually freestanding, and it takes you all the way up to the restaurant and bar and to the observation deck at the top of the pyramid. This pyramid was conceived in 1955 or something, but it was finally built in 1991. And it was built as a sports arena with over 21,000 seats. This whole place is 535,000 square feet. Now the Memphis Grizzlies and the university team played here until about 2004 when they built the FedEx Forum. After the FedEx Forum was built, they abandoned this place and it pretty much stayed empty until 2015 when Bass Pro Shops went into a 55-year agreement with the city to occupy it. So that's what we have here now. We have this big, beautiful Bass Pro Shops with lots of stuff to do. Look at the size of those sturgeons. Wow, it's massive. Holy crap, I don't think I've ever seen a sturgeon that big in my life. Hey, we got some ducks swimming here. <laughs> she sees them. If you were a duck and you saw that big fish in the water, would you get in? Those ducks probably just sit up there all day going, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that catfish. Holy crap. Should we do a bit of noodling? Yes. They're going <laughs> to swallow you whole. They probably, well, that one probably would. Lots and lots of waterfalls. It's actually pretty nice to hear waterfalls here inside the store. Unlike a lot of Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, they bring the boats inside here. So if you want to see your boat in the water, this is a great place to see it. Boats are expensive. I didn't realize this was like twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars here. So they have a wilderness theme here inside the pyramid, and my favorite is all this, I guess, fake cypress trees, and it just feels like you're in the swamp. You see up, and you have like all this Spanish moss hanging. Just feel like you're in the swamp of Louisiana or something. It's actually pretty majestic and impressive. And of course, this is an actual Bass Pro Shop store and it happens to be the largest in the world. 
So you can find the typical things here, ladies apparel, men's apparel, footwear, hunting equipments, guns. It's a best pro shop. Of course, we're in Tennessee, so they're obligated to carry volunteers gear, so. Go balls. Want a bear? Want a bear? <laughs> Just like every Bass Pro Shop in Cabela's in the country, they have a lot of stuffed animals here. Taxidermy is all over the place. This guy's gotten his belly rubbed too much. <laughs> he's got no hair left here. And he's lost a finger. But if you like live animals, they have those too. They have alligators, fish, ducks. What is it? Actually, that's the first time <laughs> of her seeing a uh, yep. fish. Tommy, you want to go for a swim? Every day at 10 and 3, they do a fish feeding here, so all the fish inside the Bass Pro Shops are being fed, and that's what they're starting to do right now. Ooh, they have divers going in. My name is Zane, and today I've been talking to you about all the fish that we keep in this exhibit here. Well, I talked to you, our diver, Nate, will be feeding the fish for you. It extends fast inside, whereas a smallmouth bass has a much shorter jawline. Largemouth bass also have a two-tone coloration with a dark color on top of their bodies and a lighter color underneath, while smallmouth have more of a solid pattern throughout their bodies. Oh, look at that. And the real thing over here, it's American Gator, right? For the safety of the alligators, please do not throw dogs into the exhibit. There's nobody here. <laughs> For those who don't want to shop, there are a lot of other things you can do here at the Pyramid, including some of the games. We get a fishbowl, which is a bowling alley, we get the museum, and also the arcade here where you can shoot laser tag. You are merely good. I am fair. Pretty neat setup. Looks like a sunken boat on the whatever swamp. It's called Memphis. Have a lot of targets. They got Mr. Morris over here. They got a beaver, which I really want to shoot. <laughs> which I'm going to do right now. I really want to get that beaver. Hey, I got the beaver. <laughs> or whatever the hell there. Oh, a squirrel. Oh, that's what I want to shoot. Oh. All right, now I'm going to go way over. I was never good at this. My score is telling me to take lessons. <laughs> it's quite a simple game, and it's actually quite fun. Because Bass Pro Shops is largely a hunting, fishing, and outdoor center, they also house the Ducks Unlimited Waterfowling Center. The Ducks Unlimited Waterfowl and Heritage Center is an interactive wetlands education museum that highlights the history of waterfowling and wetlands conservation. I don't know much about duck hunting, or I guess hunting in general, but this is a very nicely curated museum. You have a lot of historical artifacts from whatever back then, all the way to like more recent one. And I really love this antique duck decoys. Look at all the duck calls here. I don't think I've ever seen any of these up close before, except maybe on Bugs Bunny, when Bugs Bunny is trying to get Daffy Duck out. What's the name of the reality show, Duck Dynasty, where they make these things? Cute. And they made a fortune on it? <laughs> kind of a dumb reality show, but. This is what they use to shoot pterodactyls what? back in the Jurassic age. Oh my god, it's ridiculously big. Can't believe this is still inside the pyramid in the Bats Pro Shops. It's pretty neat. I really like this museum. What do you think, Kana? Huh? What do you think? They're very dog friendly. Here at the pyramid, dogs are allowed pretty much everywhere except for the front shop and the restaurants. Everywhere else, as long as you got well-behaved dogs, they can come in and roam around with you. This exhibit commemorates the Salem duck trials. They threw these ducks into the water, and if they floated, they were witches. And this is the result. Too soon, Michael, too soon. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> now, I know nothing about guns whatsoever, except that we had a 410, a 12 gauge, and a 3030 at home for my dad's hunting, which went right up into the rafters of the ceiling after hunting season. But this is the Beretta shop here, so they pretty much have every hunting rifle that you probably will ever want here. I can't tell you a thing about them, except they're long. A lot of firepower in the store. <laughs> and they also sell this ammunition box so that you can store them safely. 
I was going to explain this section of the case to you, but it's completely out of scope for the video. Uh, <laughs> and we have a 25 yard archery range here. If you want to practice, I think there's a gun range here too. Both are 25 yards. You have to bring your own equipment though. They don't rent out anything. I was kind of hoping they would rent out a gun so I could go ahead and play with one. Not play with one. Use it for practice, target practice. Don't play with guns, kids. I thought it was a decoy, but it's a target. I was gonna say, if a deer was attracted to that as a decoy, then deer are pretty stupid. Oh. <laughs> the hearts, the lungs, the liver. <laughs> it's almost as expensive as turkeys in Canada. No kidding, you're right. <laughs> cool. I think it's something like, it's actually pretty good. I could like sit up on this and just shoot things. Put this on the back of the van. Hunting has to be pretty lonely. Just sitting up in one of these things, freezing your butt off, waiting for a deer or a boar or a moose or something. Patience. But there's not even a place to put a case of beer here. This would never work in Newfoundland. <laughs> and they also have a camping section. This is more of our comfortable level here. They actually have a pretty extensive collection of camping gear here. Well, since we're spending 24 hours here, might as well start getting cozy. We're not standing in the store. <laughs> it's like someone got away with a duck call. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do we wait. really think that's what ducks sound like? What? <laughs> they also have a lot of ducks hanging from the ceiling. Bear bear and a general store that sells a lot of different foods, including fudge. It smells so good here. Somebody's going shopping. Let's see if one of these suits me. What do you think? You blend in just right. Can you see me? Michael, where do you go? Oh. It's actually warm. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's the big consideration. It's reversible too. So just in case you want to be seen, when you're in Canada at least, I'm sure the same as here, you have to wear this color when you're hunting. Yep. Blaze orange. Oh. And you put it on your dogs too. You know what these remind me of? The game Duck Hunt. Did you ever play that? Yes. Oh, it's actually like a fanning you. No, it's not to fan you. It's a tool, it's a decoy. I think we get one for the van, Michael. In the summertime, it would be probably nice standing next to it. You can spend hours and hours inside the store. No matter where you look, there's always something interesting. You simply can't just skip. You have to check it out. What is it, Tana? Yeah? It's $14.99. That's actually really good for that kind of a thing. But what a mess that would be in a truck. Can you imagine what our bed spread would look like? I mean, it's bad enough as it is, but with that slobber all over it. <laughs> Although she probably tried to bury this somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> True. What is this, Michael? These are reading glasses. But I think they sell them in the fly tying thing, because like even if you are you don't have any vision problems, these will really help you with fly tying because okay. it's such an intricate process. I feel old now because you can just leave them around <laughs> your neck. That's it. There you go. So in addition to being a huge, huge store. They also have what's called the Big Cypress Lodge here. And you can see behind me, all of these decks here are balconies for rooms in the hotel. So people come out, they can see all these beautiful animals that are dead <laughs> and look down on people that are out here. So I'm not sure how much it costs to stay here, but from the look of these rooms, it looks pretty pricey. I really would like one of these. But everybody has these where, where I'm from in Newfoundland. Like, what does the price tag say? 9,274. That's it? Yes. We can buy 17 of these for our van. Well, no, we can't buy Close enough. It's fine olive spar. I'm going to buy it all. If they ever hire olive, I'm going to buy it all. J. G. Tonight, we're eating at one of the two restaurants here at the Memphis Pyramid, Wahlburgers. I have never had their burgers, but I've heard they're good. And if you don't know Wahlburgers, they have a reality show, or they had a reality show at least. It's run by Donnie and Mark Wahlberg, along with the other one. 
Oh my god. Let's go eat. I'm starving. Oh. Thank you. Oh, that's actually pleasant. Flash. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, it's a nice beer. Awesome. You had a side of ranch. I do. Look at all these dudes. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. That looks good. What you as long as you like. It's like I'm trying to put it on a spinner thing to make it look fancy. Two wall burgers and government cheese and some special wall sauce. I'm going in, Hollis. Okay. Not putting anything on it except for what's on it when yep. it's delivered. It's actually pretty good on its own. Yeah. I'm gonna add some ketchup though, but it's actually not bad. It's a good burger, lots of onion. I didn't get any pickles in that bite, but there's lots of pickles on it as well. And fried chicken sandwich for me. My first wall burger experience, and definitely not gonna be my last. It didn't take us long to finish it. Especially me. <laughs> but it is absolutely delicious dinner. It turned out to be quite expensive. So the burger itself was $12.95 which I thought was a little expensive, but the fries are a la carte. So they come and they ask you for the burger and it's a lot extra. So our bill for two burgers and a beer was $52. It was a good burger, but it wasn't $52 good, you know? It's good though. If you don't prefer to go to a burger place, you might find a game of bowling interesting at the fish bowl. 13 lanes of underwater themed bowling. <laughs> I really love this decor. It's just so kish. This one is an alligator, but they also have like... Catfish. A catfish. They have a catfish and they have a shark. Isn't this amazing? I can go nude one. Oh yes. That's Bruce from Finding Nemo. The great white shark. I don't think that's Bruce. That's Bruce. Doesn't look like him. So is this what they call Pig Island? Pig Island? I guess so. Yeah. It's pretty boring. Uh, <laughs> when we said that we are spending 24 hours in the pyramid, well, technically this is still the pyramid. So this is where we spend the night tonight. This is not the quietest spot on earth, I suppose, because we are directly next to the I-40, which is a major interstate here in the state. It just becomes like a white noise altogether. Not a problem at all. All right, we're done dinner, and now it's time to get ready for bed. Good night. Inside a pyramid, and now we're having some coffee. That's good coffee. We survived our first night at the pyramid. We are definitely not the only one here. We got a few neighbors, and this is a well known spot in Memphis where you can park and camp for free for van lifers and RVers. This is a perfect spot because they allow overnight parking. Before we start our day at Bass Pro Shops, we need a good breakfast. I love being able to do this without running the generator. We've got five Battleborn batteries under there that are powering this. <laughs> and I love it. Not to make any noise. They smell so good, don't they? Yes, they do. Breakfast is ready, and as soon as we're done, we're gonna go inside and explore more of the pyramid. I feel like this is a really good Egyptian breakfast to, to visit pyramids by. Yes. Make a guy a good breakfast and he ruins it with ketchup. There's always sauce for everything, and ketchup is definitely a breakfast sauce. Come on. I love you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Time to go up to the observation deck. Good Hello everybody, I'm Bill Vance. Did you know that you're taking a ride on the nation's tallest freestanding elevator? You're flying over 300 feet in the air. Now that's taller than the Statue of Liberty. 
Here's another fun fact for you. This elevator and everything you see when you look down. Hello, welcome to the lookout. Observation deck is to your right. So this is the top of the pyramid. They have a restaurant here. It actually costs you $8 to get up here uh, if you don't have reservations for the lookout restaurant. I don't know if it's tourist trap or not, but people do pay to come up here to view the downtown area. They also have a circular fish tank here as the focal point of the restaurant. And I love all these artworks around here. Just basically a mechanical fish. I think it's pretty neat. Um, maybe it should have been Michael here uh, instead of me. Because again, I don't really like heights. The elevator takes us all the way to the top of the pyramid, which is the uh, Mississippi Terrace is located. This is an observation deck overlooking the Mississippi River. You can see Arkansas on the other side of the river, as well as I-40 that was recently shut down due to some construction integrity damage. I'm a little bit scared of height, so the idea of actually walking on the glass 28 stories high up in the air makes me really nervous. It's actually glass, but it's not really kind of see-through, but I'm still a little bit not so sure about walking up there. Oh, I'm a little nervous here. Now I just feel like a little bit vibrating and whatnot. I think it's all in my head, really. <laughs> Somehow I'm, I feel very nervous, but I'm sure there are hundreds and hundreds or thousands, thousands of people walk in this glass before. They also have a glass section here, which you can see how the pyramid shape takes place underneath us. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I'm holding on to the railings, but it doesn't make any sense because if this thing falls down, I will be falling down anyway with the railing. Okay, back to the safety. From here, you can definitely see the bottom of the pyramid making its way all the way to the top of the pyramid. And the observation deck is not necessarily at the very top of the structure. However, it's still pretty high up here. So, time to go back down. I didn't die. I didn't die. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day, sir. You too. Welcome back. Hey again, real man. Hope y'all have a great night. Look out. It's so good. It's amazing. It's a mile on state of Tennessee. Makes you dizzy if you don't like heights. How about that? To get back, relax on one of the rocking chairs. They have the most southern voice accent here uh, inside the elevator. Thank you. <laughs> So that's it. 24 hours are over. It is actually a very interesting night and definitely highly recommend it if you've ever been in Memphis to come over and check it out. Thanks to Bass Pro Shops for letting us stay here. Uh, well, they didn't really, we just stayed here, but we had a great time. If you liked this video, please give it a like on YouTube. If you want to subscribe to our adventures and follow us all the way across the United States, you can do that by hitting the subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications every time we post something new, hit the pyramid. No, just the bell. <laughs> yeah. Crash into the pyramid. No, hit the bell. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, and what's the name of the show? Um, the reality show that they used to do. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Wahlburgers is run by Donnie and Mark Wahlberg and the brothers.